Hi, it's Lulu here again. I'm doing the second of my how-to videos. We've been using um, my new Polaroid camera, the Instalab, going crazy in the office with this whole new thing that we're doing with uh, the Impossible project. We're gonna be using a technique called emulsifying. Now don't panic, it sounds quite complicated, but we're gonna show you really step by step how to get this technique. Um, and then you'll have something that no one else in the world has. So we're going to show you how to print any Polaroid mm -hmm. onto denim, but you could do it onto glass, to metal, yep. you can make Paper. anything. Zoe is going to show you the secret. We went all the way to Berlin to learn how to do this, but here you have it in your home, okay? Yes. That's your Polaroid that you'll get. What you do is you just cut away the white frame. Okay, and are you left with this? And you're left with that. Step two, you head, so we start again, so you put that, I'm using just a normal baking tray, just, it doesn't yeah. do anything. Yeah, go in the kitchen, see what you've got. Hot water. Or a paint tray would do. Yes, uh, boiling hot water. Is it careful. boiling? It is, careful, don't burn yourself, just fill up the tray. We just boiled this. Look, steam rising. Okay, this is so fun. Just two ordinary paintbrushes, just so that you can mad, oops, so just so you can touch it. You'll see the first bit, the layer comes off. You take off that layer. Okay. Then what starts to happen is the image starts Amazing. to move away from the clear ground. It's like a little jellyfish. That's what they take that one away. Yeah. And you're left with the image, just the Polaroid image. What are you gonna put it out on? So, what you can then is, that's my little square of denim. You just immerse that into the water. Oh my God. You have your two brushes again. You've really been practicing oh, this. I have you been. look like you're eating a Chinese <laughs> meal with chocolate. I have been, I tell you, I've done lots of these oh, every you, day. Have you been practicing all night? Oh no, I've been practicing, yes. Honestly, I've done one of these and it took me like, a bit longer. So don't worry if you're not as adept as Zoe. Just make sure the image is up the right way. You'll see what the wrong side is because you can't see the image, it's very white. Yeah. It looks like a bit of chewing gum. It does, that's what it does do. That's it, then, I'm yeah. trying to yeah. stay. Then you can just make it into a square image by using the water as the, to make it square. Sort of lubricant. Yeah. Oh, okay. And just keep doing that until you get. You've certainly given yourself an incredibly <laughs> difficult task to do on camera. While it's still wet, so just lay that down. Just stop it cracking when it dries. Some PVA glue, just. We're allowed to say the brands here, it's not the BBC. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's your final stage. Just leave that to dry and put that to one side and then it comes up. Yeah, and look at it on, so you've got one, being Zoe, she can't decide between whether she likes it on dark denim. Yes, so I started, to, so I bleached, I bleached sort of denim. Bleached denim. Can do. So basically, old Polaroids, mm. get your old Polaroids, emulsify them in this boiling water in a tray, spread yep. them out with paint brushes, mm -hmm. and you can create anything. Think on a denim jacket. I know, that's what I was thinking, you can. No, but just the denim, ju just pictures everywhere yes. of whatever you want. Uh, Roses yes. or anything. All the so listen, along the back. if you're brave enough to have a go at this, please send pictures of what you, you will do. will do better than this. This was no, just won't. an idea of me. <laughs> this is the one. Obviously, yes. I have lips everywhere. Um, so next time we'll do a lip, we'll put some lips on yes. something maybe and I'll wear it. So please subscribe and see you again soon. Bye!